Oh, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? I actually love it. All right, guys, quick update on the Toyota 4x4 pickup. I'm just picking up a load of wood, and I'll figure I could give you guys an update. Um, it's been running flawlessly. Better knock on wood. I gotta find a piece of wood. That should be easy. Um, it's been running amazing. I cannot believe it. I've got the uh, sector shaft seal installed. That was a bit of a pain. Hey guys, here's some info on the sector shaft seal, oil seal. Uh, there's not much info online about this. The only thing I came across was um, to get it out, get like a drywall screw and kind of screw it up into the wall and then kind of yank it out. And it probably would have worked, but this is a metal oil seal. It's got a metal perimeter and inside. And then the rubber piece looks like it's inside, uh, but sandwiched between those two. So when you're putting these in or taking them out, they're kind of shaped like this. And you have to have the flat side facing down. And that's what I did with the new one. I should have showed you that one, but it's just a regular oil seal. SKF 13423 uh, oil seal. And that fit perfect. No problems. And what I used to put it in was I had a I, I think I've read that you can use a one inch ABS tubing and modify it a bit to fit, but this fit perfect. I had a roll of tree uh, marking material, uh, wasn't much left of it, so I just unrolled it and used that uh, cardboard tube. Wasn't quite long enough to get over the uh, sector shaft, so I just added this guy to it, taped it up, and gave it a few whacks, set it in. It goes in about a quarter of an inch deep, and that was it. So that worked perfect. So this one took me two and a half hours to get out. You can see it's just I beat the hell out of this thing. Um, there's stories about taking it out with drywall screws. You kind of screw it in and then pull it out. And that didn't work. And basically what finally worked was after chewing away at this thing, I just put a screwdriver between the wall uh, where this fits in and the actual metal flange and bent it and it popped out. So that was awesome. But anyway, there it is. Uh, yeah, two and a half hours to get that thing out. And the whole time I was paranoid about scratching the inner walls of where it was coming out. Um, obviously that would be a leak. There's some more parts to it. And that's that little spring that goes inside it. Um, I used everything. I, I have some kitchen utensils lying around here somewhere. And then I cleaned it out and put the new one in. I also gave it an oil change. Um, which is really easy to do on these guys. All right, here it is. Oy. Here is the sector shaft oil seal, and you can see I've got the new one in. It's not leaking. This is old ooze from the last, uh, or when it blew up. So I've got it in there, and it's beautiful. It's not leaking, dripping, anything. Uh, nothing on the ground, which is amazing for a vehicle 33 years old. And I changed the oil, and it's really easy to do on here. You just basically reach up, from underneath the front of the truck and you pop the oil filter off. Just grab it, give it a twist, the way you go. The body, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with the uh, box. I, I think I'm gonna put a flatbed on it for now. I do wanna bring it back to original condition with an original box, but at the moment it's really hard to, uh, to find one of those. You know, one day I'll get one probably. But uh, until then, I think I'll, I'm gonna attempt welding up a flatbed for it. I've never welded before so it should be interesting but I've got uh, I'm gonna borrow a welder here and, and see what I can do uh, what else can I tell you oh yeah I did contact the dealer that actually sold this thing and it's about an hour and 20 minutes from me they sold this in 1988 to the original owner and I talked to them the first person I talked to just didn't even think that was interesting the second person I talked to she was awesome she thought it was great very cool uh, that this thing's still working and it was bought at their dealership blah blah uh, but you know what? She never got back to me. She said she was going to talk to her um, managers and stuff, but I guess they weren't interested, which I find weird. I mean, I think this would be a cool little story um, for a dealership. But anyway, no big deal. Looking at this thing originally, I figured it had a lift for sure because there's so much ground clearance with these things. I should measure it. Um, it just looks like it had a lift to me. Maybe that's because it's missing part of its body. I don't know. Uh, somebody mentioned in the comments that it looks stock to him. And so what I did was I, I just checked the specs online, what the height of this thing was. And yeah, this is stock height. So they built these things pretty rugged and, and uh, you know, lots of ground clearance. An amazing approach angle on this thing. 